All right, so I'm gonna talk about how sometimes in aiming, you have to suck for a while before you actually reach some new heights that other people playing it safe with their aim won't actually achieve. So I'm gonna be talking about mouse excel, this tiny mouse, the HSK Pro, uh, glass pads, things like that. So I started off the video showing a little bit of the weak sides of what I'm currently doing, which is an ultra low sense with a mouse excel. And the weakness that you can see is the reactivity is a little bit low, but sometimes I just completely can't physically track them. Like they go outside of my ability to track them. But generally the precision that you gain from using the ultra low sense is worth it, but the loss of range of motion isn't. So that's where mouse excel comes in. And I've been using it on and off for like two years and I finally embraced it about a year ago. And after learning how to use it and having the discipline, like one thing is if I do a slow swipe, I'm gonna run out of range of motion because the Excel won't kick in. So you have to do really fast whippy uh, swipes, right? And other people, they just hear mouse Excel and they think it's a joke and they think, oh, I can't aim on mouse Excel, so that guy must suck. But you definitely can get decent aim with mouse Excel. It's just a matter of practice. Now, the other thing is, I used to have a terrible grip and I used to use big palm mice to like a, basically accommodate my terrible grip. But after learning claw and then fingertip, I moved my aim up to levels that I couldn't really achieve with a, a palm grip. And going with that, I embraced it even more and I used this tiny HFK Pro mouse, which does have a pretty decent learning curve. But once you get used to it and you put in the work to learning it, you can do things that you can't do with other mice. That's basically the theme, is if you put in the effort, you can do things other people can't maybe do. Now you still have to be good, but that is something I've learned as I've explored different aiming techniques and uh, different setups and whatnot. Uh, another extension of that is the glass mouse pad. And people say you can't really get stability or stopping power or whatever it is, but I found that once you put in the time all of those areas that people were concerned about turned out to be the strong suits so that's basically my message to anyone thinking should i try this out you know some person that has really good aim advocates for it but other people say it's too hard to learn go ahead and try it out put in the work think of it as training even if you suck for a while and maybe you'll come out with better aim on the other side but basically take risk with your aim or it'll never get anywhere that's the sum of this video